Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Wednesday, November 13th. We begin our service on page 12 or in the app with the confession of sin. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Divinite, and we say divinite together. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God the great king of all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the psalm readings. The psalms appointed for today are Psalms 32 and 36. And they can be found starting on page 306. Blessed is the one whose unrighteousness is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Blessed is the one to whom the Lord imputes no sin and in whose spirit there is no guile. For while I held my tongue, my bones wasted away. I ceased not from groaning all the day long. For your hand was heavy upon me day and night, and I was dried up and withered as in the drought of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin unto you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my sins unto the Lord, and so you forgave the wickedness of my sin. For this reason shall all the ungodly make their prayers unto you at a time when you may be found. When the great floodwaters rise, they shall not reach them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall encompass me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go, and I will handle you with my eye. Do not be like the horse and mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not come near you. Great troubles remain for the ungodly, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, O you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord, and be joyful, all who are true of heart. And then Psalm 36, my heart shows me the wickedness of the ungodly. There is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own sight until his abominable sin is found out. The words of his mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. He is left off behaving wisely and doing good. He imagines mischief upon his bed and has set himself in no good way. Neither does he abhor anything that is evil. Your mercy, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How excellent is your mercy, O God! The children of men shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the plenteousness of your house and you shall give them drink from your pleasures as out of a river. 
for with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. Oh, let not the fool of the proud of the foot of the proud come against me, and let not the hand of the ungodly cast me down. There have they fallen, all those who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament reading today is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning with the 15th chapter, the first verse. But some men came down from Judea and were, te re te and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small discussion and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, being sent on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the con conversation of the Gentiles, oh, the, sorry, the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared that all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them in order to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, brothers, you know that in the early days, God made a choice among you that by my mouth, the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the, ne the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. And all the assembly fell silent, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul as they related what signs and wonders God had done among them, among the Gentiles. And they finished speaking. After they finished speaking, Jesus, James replied, Brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first visited the Gentiles to take them from a people, to take them from them, a people for his name. And this is the words, and with this, the words of the prophets agree, just as, as it is written. After this, I will return, and I will rebuild the tent of David that has fallen. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will restore it, that the remnant of mankind may seek the Lord, and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who make these things known from old. Therefore, my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who, who turn to God but should write to them to abstain from the things polluted by idols and from sexual immorality and from what has been strangled and from blood. For from ancient generations, Moses has had in every city those who proclaim him, for he is read, in every, sorry, for he is read every Sabbath in the synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Cantate Domino, found on page 84. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his own right hand and with his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord declared his salvation, his righteousness he has openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and truth toward the house of Israel, and all the ends of the world have seen the salvation of our God. Show yourselves joyful unto the Lord, all you lands. Sing, rejoice, and give thanks. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing with the harp a psalm of thanksgiving, with trumpets also and horns. Oh, show yourselves joyful before the Lord, the King. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the round world and those that dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he has come to judge the earth. 
With righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On Wednesdays, we have a time for prayer for missionaries and mission agencies that Christ the King supports. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise you and worship you and give thanks for all that you are doing with our missionaries and other missionaries throughout the world. I would particularly lift up to you um, our rural church planting efforts. I ask that you would Bless those mightily, allow new churches in your name and in your power to be formed and to reach out uh, to people that need you, of which there are many. Yes, Lord, we, uh, we give thanks for the meeting that was just held in Henderson. Father Pete was able to attend and many others, um, that there was a good quick time of coming together and uh, being organized and settling lots of things quickly and efficiently. And, and we ask you, Lord, that you will continue to guide these efforts as we move forward, that you will help church planning be uh, focused uh, and that you will show these men who are leading the way uh, which things should be pursued and which things can be set aside for a season so that the efforts that are made um, bear fruit. Um, we lift up Jean Johnston to you and her work in Denver, uh, a faithful, good work of decades now. And we thank you that you have touched her heart and led her for so long to do your work. Uh, we thank you for keeping her healthy and well and um, such a bright spirit. Uh, every time she comes home to Christ the King, it's wonderful to see her. We thank you for all the works that we 
support and that you guide us when we make our decisions. And we ask that you would continue, Lord, in clear, very clear ways to show us which missionaries and forms of outreach to support and which to let wait for a while. And always to remind us at Christ the King that uh, only doing inreach is not at all the way to go, but that looking out, out from our walls to things we can support is how we is how we keep your work going, how we reach out to the people around us, to our neighborhood and to the greater neighborhood. Let us be effective in the world which so sorely needs your touch and your word. All these things we ask in your name. We continue with the prayer of St. John Christostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And to your promise through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.